you can run, Connor, but you can't hide. time. Right, I'm sorry. Can you get me? Here. I drank some of it. Sorry. You've been ages. I couldn't face everybody. What's wrong? My memories come back. I've remembered what happened. When? Before the explosion. We blocked the tunnel, didn't we? That's it? That's what you've remembered? It's not funny. They all think it was Tasha's fault. It was. It was her idea to go down there. But if they'd been able to get out, then maybe Sophie'd be okay by now. I mean, what if she dies? We keep quiet. I'm not taking the blame for that. So why did you smash up the studio? M me? I, I didn't. I saw you. What if Tash puts two and two together? What if she works out that somebody actually blocked the entrance that tunnel on purpose? It won't take her long to figure out that it was us. What's that got to do with framing her for all this other stuff? I'm just making sure that nobody will ever believe a word she says again. What do you think will happen if they find out that you were responsible? Me? The police would be called in, you'd be expelled from school, and I don't know what your parents would do. Nothing will ever be the same again. Your life will be ruined. In the end, Sam, what difference will it make to Tash? She's always going to be in trouble. She's a bad person. She's a loser. Let her take the blame, and then we'll be in the clear. What do I say if they start asking more questions? Just carry on not remembering, OK? So we stick to our story. Is that agreed? Yeah. Agreed. Listen, for the last time, I didn't take any of your stuff. Oh, no. No, I didn't take Sam's sweets, all your rubbish is tied, and I didn't trash the poxy radio studio either. Well, if you didn't, who did? Well, there's only one person who it could be, isn't there? And who's that then, Tash? You. That is totally ridiculous. I mean, why would Richard want to do something like that? I don't know. Ask him. Only this morning you said I'd done it. Make up your mind. Now nah, you're too professional. You won't leave such a mess. Thanks for nothing. You might as well say me and Kate did it. Are you joking? A pair of wet Wendy's like you two. No, it has to be Richard, doesn't it? Louis too much of an animal nerd. Davy and Sire si all mouth. Oh, you flipping cheek. cheek. And they wouldn't dare to take on anyone bigger than themselves. And what about Sam? Sam, don't make me laugh. He's a poodle. What? Richard's little pet dog. Woof, woof. Just shut up, Tash. Shut up. Ooh, temper, temper. You only do this because you feel guilty. Why should I feel guilty? Because Sophie's still in the coma and you know it's all your fault. You made us go down that mine. I'm only in here because of you. So why did you follow me? Are you a poodle as well? Come here, boy. Sit. Beg. Leave him alone. Let him stick up for himself. You've gone too far this time. I've stuck up for you in the past, but I've had enough. And you were trouble the moment I met you. Hey, hey. Break it up. What's going on? It's her. It's all her fault. She's responsible. I was nearly killed in that tunnel, and if Sophie dies, it should lock her up for good because she's she's a killer. Oi, Connor. Gotcha. Get 
get on my way. You think you're going to get away with this? You heard what the man said. Whatever you say I've done, they can't touch me because it's Mr Cowan who's going to get it in the neck for this one. Yeah. Well, maybe they can't touch you, but we can. I'm not scared of you. Yeah? Well, maybe you should be. Who's the brown trousers now? Connor, you and me. Just give me the gun back. Not your mate. Remember? You don't even know how to shoot that thing properly. Oh, no. This is payback time, Connor. All the things you lot next door have done to us. Well, anything we've done, we've done because you lot provoked it. It was all right, Ralph. It was you lot. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're breaking my heart. Now give it me before I make your life really miserable. I'll decide what happens to this gun. OK. There's no point you threatening me with it. We'll put you inside if you fire it at me. Why should I waste your precious pellets when I can make you wet yourself just by pointing it at you? Oh, yeah? Get up! Get back! Put your hands up! Just give it up, Ewan. God, you're such a perk! Put your hands up or I'll fire this thing, I really will! Get back! I'm gonna get it off you. You're not safe with it. You've got three seconds to put that pipe down! One! Two! Three! Armed police! Put your weapons down! And your hands off where I can see them! What do I do? Who well, says you idiot? They've got guns. Put your weapon down. Armed police. Put your weapon down. <laughs> ah, I've been here. I've been here. Please don't shoot me. I haven't got a weapon. Okay, hey. son. Lie ah. down on your face. No. Slowly. No. Get out the legs. My face been hurt. Lie down. No. Please. Just get that out the way! He's been hurt really bad! I think she might be getting a chest infection. It's that bad. It's not good. Don't make things difficult for yourself, lad. You lot Uncle Bodgin with your guns and megaphones! None of this would have happened! I think I'm getting something. I'm getting a vision about Becky. I'm trying to help you. Well, I don't want your help. If they won't deal with Tash, then we